We thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity of God that you've presented before us. We count ourselves a privileged people of God. Father, we are Almighty to be identified with you in these last days. And I pray, O oh God, that Lord Father may you come and visit us one more time today, O oh God, as we are gathered in your presence. Father, Lord God Almighty, the greatest gift the prophet says is for a preacher to get himself out of the way. Oh, yes. And I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, may I find grace with you, Lord, to be able to move myself out of the way. Amen. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, Lord, we thank you and bless your holy name. We say, Father, may you bless this church, bless Pastor Mahere, O God, and the brothers that are helping him together in the government of the church. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord, bless together his wife also. And bless everyone, O oh God, that are here today. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, Lord, as you're going to be reading your way today, we want to ask you, Father, to come and, Father, Lord, open this way to us, O oh God, and make it live, O oh Father. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we pray and we thank you. Amen and amen. amen. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. The Lord, we need to all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It's good to be back again in the house of the Lord. Amen. Um, the Lord's doings are just wonderful. Amen. And uh, it seems like this new place is already small. <laughs> uh, you might have to move again. very much. Amen. Amen. May the Lord is to bless you. Pray for me as I'll also be praying for you. Amen. Amen. As we turn to our Bibles now.
So maybe I came twice or maybe I don't know, do we come to this twice or once? But I was here last year and this year, and now I've come again. Praise the name of the Lord. And we really want to appreciate um, all that God is doing in this place. Amen. We do appreciate also Brother Mahere. Uh, he's one of uh, the, uh, you know, the resources in God's hand. Uh, a blessing to the bride of Christ worldwide. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's a good thing that you support him with your prayers and in every way possible. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, it's not easy to be a pastor. It's not just about being behind the pulpit. There's a lot that goes in the background that people do not know about. Praise the name of the Lord. Sometimes even our wives don't know about. Um, but uh, anyway, we, we are sustained by the prayers that you pray for us. Praise the name of the Lord. So continue praying for our precious brother. Amen. Amen. And the Lord will definitely bless you for that. Usually, I know myself as a preacher who does not take long. Amen. So if I take long, it's not me, it is you. Because I know myself as a preacher who doesn't take long. And I have proof of that. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So, but all is well. Hallelujah. I love the music that you have here. I was blessed by the song that was saying. Uh, the power, the power, I love that song. Praise the name of the Lord. So there is power in the word of God. Amen. Amen. And now, <clears throat> it never loses its power. Amen. This message, <laughs> this message is, is as fresh as it was when it came from the mouth of the angel of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It is as powerful as it was back then, today. Amen. When it seems to be weak, it's not the message, it's the people that are weak in believing the message. Praise the name of the Lord. But the message is just as powerful as it was back then. Even now, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If, if he was raising the dead then, he's still raising the dead even today. If he was healing the sick then, he still heals the sick even today. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Just a small testimony. Two weeks or so ago, a sister, she's a visitor, she comes and she wants to be prayed for. And then on the prayer line, she says, um, um, she was actually worried that, as she says, the doctors are saying she's not uh, responding well to the treatment. And she just wants to be prayed for that her sister can come to a place where she can respond well to the treatment. Now the brother was praying for him, Brother David. He said, why do you want to respond to treatment? Don't you want to be healed? Don't you want to take the treatment anymore? Praise the name of the Lord. And um, she was prayed for. And she just said, ah, okay, you can pray. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And the brother prayed for her. And now, some time later, when she went for the results, she was a terribly positive. When she went for the results, he tested negative. Praise the name of the Lord. And now she was a bit worried. Well, why is the machine now saying negative and not positive? Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Remember, she came to be prayed for so that she can you know, respond well to the ARVs. Or should I say ARVs? <laughs> Amen. Is this is what we say. You don't say R, you say R. Amen. Wonderful. But I'm trying to say that this message is as powerful as it was. It will never lose its power. Because the prophet said the angel of the Lord will never leave the church until rapture takes place. Amen. He, the man, is gone, but, but, but the angel is still here. Hallelujah. The mighty angel is still here. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. And the book that he gave to the earthly angel is still here. Yes, we are still eating from that book yes, even today. Yes, and what do we do after that? We prophesy again. Yes, 
Amen. We don't prophesy anew, we prophesy again. Meaning we prophesy that which has already been prophesied. We don't come up with new revelations and new prophecies. Okay, that's not what I want to talk about, but hey, we have a good church to preach to. Genesis chapter 18. Don't forget, it's the sheets, right? It's very easy to remember. You just know that there's time for everything. Amen. It's in everything. It's time for everything. It's time, they say, it's time to, to cry, it's time to laugh. It's time to, to pray, it's time to sing, it's time to preach. Amen. And it's very good that we know what time it is. Amen. There's a time to pray that long prayer. And there's a time when they say, brother, open with the word of prayer. You should open with the word of prayer. Don't start a prayer meeting. Praise the name of the Lord. I said to open with the word of prayer. Because it's time to open with the word of prayer. If you want to talk to God, you talk to God when you get home nicely in the comfort of your room. Praise the name of the Lord. But don't take the whole 30 minutes here opening in the word of prayer. It's not time for that. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. When you say bless the way, just bless the way. Don't stop. You know when they say pray for offerings, just pray for offerings. Leave the preacher alone and other things. Just pray for offerings and to finish and sit down. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Because it's time for that. It's not, now it's not time to pray for the minister. You should have prayed for the minister when you were at home before you came to the service. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So there's a time for everything. And there's a time to fight. And when it's time to fight, let's fight. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Fight, fight and finish fighting. Yeah. Let's not keep on postponing the time to fight. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. When it's time to fight, let's 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 call the match, a boxing match, and say, my well, brother, it looks like we are fighting. Let's just fight officially. Yeah. Yeah. Fight and finish and see who's the winner. Yeah. Then when we are done, we know that we are done with fighting. Now you're my brother. I love you. You love me. We are not going to fight you now. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's the Bible, eh? Yes. There's time for that. <laughs> and it says there's a time for hate and a time to love. You don't love when it's time to hate. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And you don't really hate when it's time to love. You should, you should present the times. Amen. You should discern the times. Because if you fail to discern such small times, how are you going to discern the time you are living in? Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. The time of the visitation of the elders. Yet you fail to, to discern that this is time for me to be silent. Time for silence now. Even though you have things to speak, but it's time for silence. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Which is why sometimes even we ministers misses it. Because when God is done speaking, uh, we must sit down. Praise the name of the Lord. If we continue on speaking when God is done speaking, then we mess everything up. Praise the name of the Lord. Then we start chopping people's ears off. Because God is done speaking. It's time for silence, but you still want to speak. Praise the name of the Lord. God is done speaking. You know Jesus, I love Jesus very much. These are sermons where were never too long, or were never long, not even too long, they were never long. Jesus was preaching 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And usually his services will not end with a prayer or a song. They will end with stones being thrown at him. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. That's the end of the service. Until next time. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I'm not Jesus, right? I'm just rather too. <laughs> so, please keep your stones. Amen. Alright, Genesis chapter 18. Let us read verse 10. I 
we there yet? Genesis is the first book of the Bible. Verse 10 it says, and he said, this is God speaking, to Abraham, I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life. And lo, Sarah thy wife shall have a son. And Sarah had it in the tent door which was behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were speaking old and uh, were old and well stricken in age, and it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. Therefore Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am not old, shall I give, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of a surety? Bear a child which am old? Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee, according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. There's a time for everything. And here the Bible says, according to the time of life. And that is our title of today, according to the time of life. Amen. According to the time of life. Praise the name of the Lord. And if there is a time of life, it means that there is a time of death. Hallelujah. Amen. Sarah and Abraham were living in a time of death. Sarah's womb was dead. It was a time of death. Until she did not believe that life can come out of her any longer. Because she was living in a time of death. She was waiting to die. Praise the name of the Lord. But now God says, I will return to you according to the time of life. Praise the name of the Lord. For surely I will return unto thee. <laughs> Amen. Because he came, he was, he was talking with Abraham now at the place of Mamre. He said, he has come and he says, now I will return. Amen. Now, some might have from there taken up a doctrine and said the return ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But let us look at him when he returns. How does he return? Yes. Amen. Amen. Because he said, according to the time of I, the prophet will usually say, I, a personal pronoun, meaning me, myself, I, I will return to you. I will come back again to you according to the time of life. For the name of the Lord. Meaning that what she, he, uh, she and him has to look for is just the time of life. When the time of life steps in, then we know that now he is here. Because he said, I will return to you according to the time of life. Praise the name of the Lord. So it is very important to know these times as to which which time am I now living in? Which which time are you at? And there can be a time that you are in as an individual. There can be a time that you are in as a church, as an assembly. Yes, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's correct. Now. Praise God. In chapter 19, um, the two angels, they go to Sodom and Gomorrah to try to revive a brother there, a, a backslidden brother. Praise the name of the Lord. But there is one in chapter 18 who stayed with Abraham. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And if you go and read your Bible very well, you will, you will, you will know or notice that Abraham was visited seven times. 
And this visit here was the seventh one. Praise the name of the Lord. This was the seventh visit unto Abraham. And yet in the seventh visit, God says to him that I will return to you according to the time of life. Praise the name. He has come himself. He has come down in a physical form where he was eating bread and butter. Yeah. Where he was eating meat. Yeah. Praise the name. Sinners and believers. Then he says, 
the response of the low tides, a group of rocks. We are both in the world and in church. Praise the name of the Lord. We are both in Sodom, but we are also brothers to Abraham. So, they also claim to believe the message. <clears throat> but, there is a group which the prophet says is the elect group. Yes. Amen. Amen. And now, the Lotites and the Sodomites, they were sent two messengers, which the prophet says, it's Billy Graham and the Oral Roberts. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he says that in, in, in the history of the world, there's never been a man who preached salvation like Billy Graham. Right. So says the prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He says in the history of the world, there's no man that preached salvation like Billy Graham. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you come into the Pentecostal realm, you find Brother Ola Roberts. Mm. That man can preach. Yes, Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And you are anointed yeah. of the Spirit of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Remember, those two angels did not come from hell. Yeah. That went to Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Those two angels came with Elohim. They came down with Elohim. That you go, you don't, you don't talk to Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't talk to Abraham. You go talk to Sodom and Gomorrah and the Lord Tides. That's your group right there. Even though you came from there. Praise the name of the Lord. But now there is this group. Very simple group. Yeah. Amen. Some of you might know there's a brother called Brother Tim Humes or Eunice, or however you want to pronounce it. And then his father lived in the time of the prophet. And then he asked his father a question that, Brother Brennan, in your time, uh, sorry, it's Tim asking his father. He says, Dad, in the time of the prophet, William Brennan, there were guys like, oh, there were Alan, there were T.L. Osborne, there were Jeff Coles, and a whole lot of people that were uh, uh, revivalists at the time and they were also doing great miracles i mean you go to a allen you can go on youtube check a allen out they even call him the father of faith that man was doing great miracles he would read the scripture of of of, of people laying uh, the sick people so that the shadow of peter when it passes by will be healed he would read that scripture and practice it yeah and so he put this person and put a light here. I want my shadow to just pass on this man and he's going to be healed. And it may happen that way. And real genuine miracles, not these fakes that we see today. Genuine stuff. Amen. Now, he asked his father this guy, says, but then why? Why did you choose to go to Brother Because if you want to talk about miracles, there are miracles everywhere. Every time you meet here, big miracles. But why did you specifically go to William and Daniel. Dad, when he answered him, I loved it. He said, you know what, son? Yes, there were miracles almost everywhere. God was doing wonders in every revival. He said, but when you come to William Brennan's meetings, he said the difference was with William Brennan, the difference was there was a time when the presence, there was a presence that was nowhere else. It was only in William Brennan's meetings. That is what called me to be identified with William Brennan. Because of the presence of the angel of the Lord. Hallelujah. Everywhere else there were miracles and big things happening. But rather the most important thing is the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah! That's what should make us happy as believers. That's what we should seek for. We should not seek after miracles, but let's seek after the presence. Hallelujah! Because when you have the presence, you have everything. Hallelujah! When he is there, he is the healer. When he is there, he is the believer. When he is there, he is the son of prosperity. Say, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Oh, yeah. No, sir. 
presence. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. That's the most important. Recognize his presence. Because if he comes and you don't recognize his presence, ah, you will miss your opportunity. He went to the pool of Bethesda. Or Bethesda, however you want to call it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And when he is there, he found people that were sick. People in pitiful conditions. But because they did not know who he was. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. They just left the healing passing before yeah. God. Yeah. Healing, healing himself yeah. was right there in the pool of Bethesda. Yeah. Amongst the sick and dying people. But they did not recognize him. And they missed that opportunity. Yeah. And the Bible never records any other time when Jesus went back to the pool of Bethesda. And all the people that were there, they missed it. Don't miss your opportunity. Amen. He was, he was on his way to Jairus' house. Hallelujah. Multitudes of people throwing him and pushing him and pressing him. Amen. They were saying, this is that preacher, that mighty preacher. This is that mighty prophet of God. But a certain woman, she saw beyond the mighty preacher. Amen. Hallelujah! She said, this is my time. Hallelujah! She was in a time of death, but this was a time of life. For 12 long years, in a time of death. But she realized that this is my time of life. If only I can touch the hem of his garment. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Every time we 
goodness for them is his feet and they are calling to you. Hallelujah. Because sometimes people wait for a mighty preacher. A mighty preacher. But it's not about that. He's always there. Amen. Right by your side. Yes, you just have to recognize your day and his yeah. message. Yeah. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. Yeah. If you can recognize that yeah. and live in that given time, yeah. uh, victory is certain for you. Yeah. Praise God in the highest. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sarah says, but how is that ever going to be possible? She can lie, loves within her heart. Now, <clears throat> this is the seventh visit to Abraham. And now, we are of the seed of Abraham. Amen. As a church of the living God. Amen. And he visited us seven times from the time of a vision church age <coughs> until Malvation church age. Amen. It was seven times. Because remember, the prophet says that if the Lotites and Sodomites are with those two, and who is with the elect? The one who's with the elect is not even an angel, yes. but is Elohim himself. Amen. Right. Praise the name of the Lord. Then yes. God sent angels, but to the elect, he leaves his glory. Yes. He leaves his throne. And he comes down. That's why there is, there is silence in heaven because everyone is amazed. Where is God going? Amen. That's right. Then there's a silence for half an hour because the king has never left the throne. But today he left the throne. What is happening? It's because Elohim must go down to the earth. Elohim must meet with people, sit down and eat bread and butter and be with them. Hallelujah. Amen. And he's got a message. Yeah. And his message is according to the time of life, I will return. Yes. Yes. Praise God in the highest. Amen. You know, every time, every time, every time, the, remember that angels are serpents, they are messengers of God. Yeah. Now, every time an angel comes, he comes bearing a message. If you meet an angel and that angel does not have a message, it's not God's angel. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. You might go around hosting and say, My brother, I saw the angel. White, shining garments. But if that angel had no message, it's not from God. Yeah. Every time an angel appeared in the Bible, they had a message. Yeah. They don't just appear for fun. Yeah. They say, yeah. Hey, look at me, I'm the angel. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. You're always by a message. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, may God help you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Are we still alright? Amen. 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 Then he comes and, and he he shows a messianic sign. Praise the name of the Lord. Without an element of error in it. Amen. Perfect. That's right. Messianic sign. Amen. Which is discernment. A perfect one. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Without a measure of error in it. Yeah. I want to repeat that. Without a measure of error in it. Amen. Perfect. Why did Sarah laugh? Although Sarah said, Me, laugh. No, no, I, I didn't. Yeah. You know, the prophet says, God would have killed her right there. That's right. Because in other words, you're saying, God, you're lying. Yeah. She's <laughs> saying, God, no, you're lying. I, I, I did not laugh. That's true. But because of his sovereign grace, he saw that no, I promised 
Abraham that he will have a son through you. For I can't kill you. You must live to bring a son. Praise the name of the Lord. And now, when when God when God when a time of life came, Amen. When a time of life came, something happened. Because remember that He said, "I, I, personal problem, I will come to you according to the time of life." But when the time of life came, there is no physical visitation. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So when the prophet says, I will write this train one more time, it's not coming back physically like he did back then. Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. When, when the time of life came to show that he has come, Sarah saw herself as a young woman. She changed. Amen. And Abraham also. His hair and his beard changed from gray to in black. Yeah. yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. There's a body change taking place. So don't worry, those who are still waiting for William Graham to return, just let them wait a bit yeah. longer. Yeah. Amen. 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 But there's a return going on right now. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Okay, praise his holy name. I'm about to close. Amen. Um, it also helps to keep others awake. <laughs> Those who are about to sleep when they hear that act is about to close now. <laughs> Amen. Yes. I know one brother he uses that a number of times and it works very well. He says, I'm about to close. He says, I'm not saying I'm closing, I'm saying I'm about to. And about to might be in an hour or so, but I'm about to. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. So don't worry, uh, for real, I'm about to close. Amen. Now, <clears throat> there's a time for everything. When, when the angel came to Mary, she said, you are highly Favorite. Yes. Yes. Amen. And now, the prophet takes us to this point and he says, We are the bread of Christ in this day, standing in the same position that Mary was standing in, where she was carrying the word. She received the word which brought a physical change. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Which is what Eve failed to believe. Hallelujah. Because the way we were supposed to come, we were supposed to come by the spoken word. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Now Jesus, the reason the Bible calls him the second man, Adam. But there has been men before that came out of Adam. But the Bible never even called them second men. They were just men in one. Yeah. Hallelujah. But when Jesus is born, he said the second man, Adam. Amen. Because Adam was coming with eyes straight from the mouth of God. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Adam was spoken into existence. Right. And Jesus, the same as Adam, was spoken into existence by angel Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. That you shall conceive and bear son and call his name Jesus. He was spoken into existence. He came by the spoken word. He the second man that came by the spoken word. So now hence the Bible says the second man Adam. Hallelujah. My God, 
You are still subject to time. Yeah. Yeah. But whenever he returns for the eighth time, and he does not return physically. Mm. Amen. 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 When he returns for the seventh time, everybody could see him walking down the street yeah. with dirty feet, yeah. coming to Abraham's house. Even though know they did not know who exactly this is, but they saw him. They even saw the angels. But at the time of the return, it's not for everyone, it's for the individuals. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He comes now not to the church, but to you. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He does not come to you as a group, but he comes to you as an individual. There is something that takes place on the inside of the inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You cannot explain it to the next person. But it is real. Amen. 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 It is taking place. Oh, my God. Amen. 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 <coughs> okay. Hallelujah. Are we still happy? Amen. Let's give the Lord a little more praise. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Apostle John. Not even that apostle. But this John, this is one who baptized Jesus. <laughs> you know, Jesus' ministry was <laughs> was uh, was very unique. Someone was saying, you know, it's, it's very difficult to. He says, if you think of it, it was very difficult to believe the message at that time. We were just talking of these people who were trying to disprove the message. Yeah. Even if they lived in the time of Jesus Christ, they should not try to do that. Because if you check, John! John was a cousin of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he says, Behold! The help of God that takes away the sin of the world. Yeah. And when you behold, you see his cousin. You see, like, you see now, you see the family, family churches. <laughs> No, 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 You can't show me your cousin and say you hold the lamp of God. <laughs> you plant this thing, you are with your cousin, you plant this whole thing that you're going to come here and say you hold the lamp of God. <laughs> it must be very difficult for you to believe if you can't believe now. If then you wouldn't believe. You say you get more. He's only with his family. Were you going to be an outsider alone? When you are there, like oh, this is uh, you know, uh, this is my first born, my second born, my third born, and these are their wives, and this is my wife. Yeah. And you'll be like, and this is God's program. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. <laughs> Oh! 
right there. They say a preacher means he's got in his sermon. Yeah. A preacher means he's got in his sermon. Yeah. He's busy with the sermon, he can't really hear God speaking. Yeah. He's busy preparing the sermon, yeah. trying to put things in order, yeah. line by line. And God is trying to tell him that, hey man, these people, these people here, they don't pray, you must talk about prayer. Yeah. And you, you want to talk about, you know, uh, the, the seal beneath the mystery of the covering of Papua. Amen. But God is saying, these people don't pray. Yeah. You must teach them how to pray. Yeah. You yeah. must go to the sermon. Oh. Now, while he was trying to rest like that, a phone rang. And then when the phone rang, 
I believe the sister went to pick up the phone and uh, it was this man. Now he was saying that I'd like to speak to Brother Brennan. Now the sister was saying, no, you can't speak to Brother Brennan now. He's very tired, he's resting. You can't even uh, let him come to the phone. So <clears throat> when the conversation was going on, Brother Brennan had the conversation. He, he came out of the room and said, what is it? And when they complained, he said, no, Brother Brennan, you can't take this. You need to rest. He said, no, it's fine. Let me just take this one. And he took he took that, uh, that phone call, and then this man was asking him that when well, this car and pray for my child is about to die. Yeah. Now the man was trying to give reasons why he can't go and pray for this child, right? Now let's read. He says, Justin, speaking. Those mothers, okay, it's this man now speaking. He says, Justin, those mothers, their babies are not right. Say, they may have different things, but says, my baby has got pneumonia. And the best specialist I can get says she ain't going to leave but about three more hours. I said, well, sir, I couldn't even get there in three hours. He said, but I'm not going said, don't think I'm trying to use my authority now for pressure. And Mr. Morgan is a fine man. He followed us a long time. All right? <laughs> Didn't he? Brother Kitson right along in the meeting. He said, if you just come and I'll... You don't know what said. Said, their babies, if they've been standing all night, said, maybe they can wait a little, a little while. But my baby can't. He said, I just lost a little girl here about 12 years ago, my first little girl. It was a long time before healing came to me. Prophet 49. And I know how he felt. This is the prophet. That poor little thing died, said, well, but Brenham, you can't go down there, honey, said, man, well, you are just about dead. I said, well, let me lay in the back of your little flight of car and drove down that highway at the speed of 70 miles an hour around through Arkansas. Remember, in the time of life, right? When the time of life has come, it is come. When the season has come, it is come. Mm -hmm. No matter the prophet is tired or not tired, mm -hmm. it is the time for that child to be born. That child must live. Mm -hmm. And if that child must be prayed for by the prophet, he must pray for that child. Mm -hmm. Regardless of his condition. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And that man also did not say, I know you are not tired. No, I, I understand you are tired. No, it's fine. Amen. He, he insisted that, no, no, you, you must come. You must come and pray for my child. And now he said, he started, he, uh, he was laying at the back of the car and he was running down the road at the speed of 70 miles an hour. Maybe we can say it 120. <laughs> and on the road down, I was praying. And the angel of the Lord sat in the car with me just for a little piece. Hallelujah. He said, Remember the angel, every time the angel comes, he's got a message. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He said, say this to him. Thus saith the Lord. Yes. Waters are running clear ahead. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. That's my way to give him. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. You can claim that message also. Yes. Yes. Amen. You can believe that this is the message of the angel to me, not to Mr. Morgan, but to me, that my waters are running free I have of you. Regardless of the situation, regardless of the three hours that the specialist has given, but my waters are running free I have. Oh, hallelujah. Regardless of the deadlines of what, regardless of this or that, but my I was just as white awake as I am now. And I went to shouting and praising the Lord. And Brother Joseph said, what's the matter? I said, the angel of the Lord was sitting here, Brother Johnson. He said, oh, Brother Brennan, you know any of you know Brother Johnson. He's a very fine man. He pulled up his brakes. He started crying. I said, just go ahead now. Go ahead and go right straight. And when we got there, praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I have no worries. 
Yeah. Angel of the Lord is coming to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't fear, I have a word 
for you, my sister. I have a word for you, my brother. Because it's from the Lord. After I pray for your baby, putting my hands on the baby, mm -hmm. I called over it the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And whenever I did, they didn't have to put the oxygen on its nose then. I turned around, I said, Thus saith the Lord to Mr. Morgan. Amen. I said, Many specialists have pronounced your baby dying. But, Thus saith the Lord.
Yes.